How to build muscle and lose fat at the same time. Three non-negotiable pillars that I teach our clients, that we teach inside of our programs, that's going to make your life so much easier, so much more simple when it comes to your health and fitness routine. Let's talk about it right now. If you're new to this channel, my name is Josiah Novak. I'm the head coach at thetruetransformation.com. And my goal and mission is to help people transform their body and life using fitness as the lowest hanging fruit to improve all areas of your life. Fitness is something that can take your entire life or any part of your life and transform it if you do it correctly. So today I want to talk about how to lose fat and build muscle simultaneously. Is it even possible? Can you do it? We're going to break things down, three non-negotiables that our clients focus on each and every day to make sure that this happens, okay? So to answer your question, can you build muscle and lose fat at the same time? Well, at the very same time, no. These are two completely separate processes inside the body. That being said, yes, over the course of three, four, six, 12 months, you can lose fat and build muscle. Yes, they can happen during the course of of a transformation phase simultaneously? No, but can they happen at the same interval during the same time frame? Yes. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully you're not ultra confused already, but just understand that what I'm going to teach you today is going to allow you to do both. All right. So let's jump right into it. If you have not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you stop right now, hit subscribe, hit the like button. It helps our channel tremendously, helps us grow, helps us, helps us reach more people, helps us help more people. And uh, it would be greatly appreciated. So thank you in advance for doing that. So let's talk about um, the first pillar, okay? Because this is where most people can see instant results, okay? Instantaneous results. This first pillar is movement, okay? We have five pillars that we talk about inside our program. I'm going to give you three today because these three are the keys. These are the big basics. Movement is number one. When we talk about movement, we're talking about how much you move every day your activity, your steps, how much you stand up, how much you move around. We're not talking about workouts yet. We're going to get to that. But movement is something that is under your control. All right. There's so much that happens in your day. There's so much that happens in your life that's completely out of your control, that's frustrating, that annoys you, that bugs you. My mission is to give you things you can control so that you can handle the things that are out of your control that much better. One of those things is movement. How much you move your body every day. Simple way to track it is by tracking your steps. I pull it up my phone because there's a free app on your phone called the Health App on the iPhone. I'm sure there's something similar on a Google phone or a Samsung or whatever you might use. Or you can use a smartwatch. If you have an Apple Watch or if you have a Fitbit or a Garmin, all of those track your daily steps. When you move around and you're carrying your phone with you, it's tracking how much you're walking. This is an indicator a great indicator of where your activity level is and how or where you can start to improve it, okay? If you're not walking enough during the day, if you're not moving around enough, you're not burning enough calories, you're also probably not as energized as you could be. When you take the time to move more, your energy goes up, all right? If you're feeling you know, sluggish at your desk, like you wanna take a nap, stand up and start walking around you will notice instant, instant results, all right? The other thing too, when you burn more calories is that it's gonna make it easier to lose fat. We're gonna talk about calories next, but it's going to make your life so much easier when you lose fat. A good target, all right, when you're talking about steps and daily movement is eight to 10,000 steps a day. I personally guarantee if you start walking eight to 10,000 steps per day, you will notice a drastic change you will notice that a lot of things change. Your body fat starts to come down. Your energy starts to go up. You feel better, all right? Quick hack for you, after you eat, go for a quick walk. It helps the digestion. It helps with getting the body to uh, get back to its normal energy after a meal. It helps with mental clarity. Walking is important. Move enough during the day, eight to 10,000 steps. That is pillar number one, non-negotiable number one if you're trying to lose fat build muscle at the same time. Let's talk about pillar number two, macros, okay? Macros and meals. This is where we talk about your nutrition. Nutrition, I don't have to say it. I mean, you've heard a million times. 
eating is going to dictate whether or not you get the results you want. You can exercise, you can work out, you can move more. But if your nutrition is not dialed in, you're going to be in a world of hurt because you're not taking care of the biggest, at least in my opinion, one of the biggest pieces to the puzzle. How many calories you eat? How much protein you eat? Are you getting enough carbs and fats in your nutrition plan to fuel your body, to fuel your workouts, to make you feel good, to give you the tools needed to build muscle and also control your calories enough to be able to lose fat? You have two things you need to worry about when it comes to macros in your meals, calories and protein. You need to burn more calories than you eat, roughly three to 600 more calories per day than you eat to see continued fat loss. And you need to get sufficient protein to allow your body to recover from your training, okay, so that you build muscle while you're losing fat. A good target for protein is about a gram per pound of goal body weight. So if you're 200 pounds and you want to be 150 pounds, well, you would target about 150 grams of protein per day. I've talked about this before, but this is something to reiterate because it's important to understand that you don't need tons of protein, but you're going to need a good amount. Now, if you want to go higher than 150 grams, that's fine. Some of my clients, you know, eat upwards of 200, 250 grams of protein a day, but these are people who enjoy protein rich foods, who have no issues getting that much protein, in, don't experience tons of digestive issues when it comes to eating that much protein. Start with a gram per pound of goal body weight and see how you feel. Go from there. So, tip number three, or non negotiable number three, is muscle. All right, we finally got to the training aspect of this whole equation because losing fat is great, but if we're not building muscle, we're not training our body appropriately while we're controlling our calories, while we're moving more, while we're getting enough protein, we gotta train, right? You gotta, gotta hit the weights or you gotta train in a way with your body weight that's going to allow you to build muscle. So a simple way to look at this is your body is going to adapt to stimulus, in this case, lifting weights or training with your body weight. It's going to adapt by building muscle because it's required to build more muscle to be able to keep up with your workouts, right? It's just an adaptation. You put your body through a workout, the body says, wow, I need to get stronger, need to build muscle to be able to handle these weights. And over time, it responds favorably to these workouts and builds more muscle. So when it comes to workouts, you're going to want to progressively make them more challenging. You don't need to do crazy fancy stuff. You could literally do the same exercises day in and day out, but over time, increase the weight, increase the reps, increase how many sets you're doing, and then maybe mix it up, maybe superset things, less rest in between sets, tri sets, drop sets, right? These are things over time that you build into your program. You don't do it all at once, but you build it into your program to make things harder as you go through workouts. This is progressive overload. There's many ways to achieve this progressive overload, but ultimately what we're after here is an adaptation from the body coupled with enough protein from your diet and rest and recovery, right? Good sleep, good hydration, making sure you're listening to your body, not doing anything crazy. And over time, you're going to build muscle. This is why, this is how I should say you build muscle while you're losing fat. You train appropriately, you get enough protein and you rest and recover as needed. You get enough sleep, you take care of your body, and you're going to build muscle by getting stronger in the gym or stronger at home, however you're training, making things more challenging. So my friends, that is how you build muscle and lose fat. At the same time, you control your calories, you control your protein intake, you make sure you're moving enough to support these calories, and then you train, right? Three to four days a week is plenty. Hitting each body part at least once a week, preferably twice, we have videos detailing on how to work out appropriately. You can check out the links in the description of the video below. That is it for me for now. This is a topic that I want to get you clear on to help you out with. If this video helped you, if you're feeling like, yes, this makes sense, make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. We'll be dropping way more videos on things like how to build muscle, how to lose fat, how to keep the fat off, how to continually challenge yourself, how to transform your body and your lifestyle. If you want actual programs, if you want to learn more about how to work with a coach like myself on how to achieve this, how to build something into your lifestyle that is going to fit your unique lifestyle and actually transform your body, go to thetruetransformation.com 
and check out our coaching programs there. I have links in the description of the video below. That is it for me. Talk to you soon. Josiah Novak, truetransformation.com. Peace.